briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a 1946 case heard by the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania, Overbeck v. McHale, the court focused on the concept that an unintentional killing resulting from grossly reckless conduct, which the defendant could have reasonably anticipated to cause death, can be classified as murder. The case involved a 17-year-old boy who brought a revolver to the movies and met a 13-year-old boy at a dairy store. The two loaded the gun together and decided to play Russian poker, which ended in the tragic death of the 13-year-old victim after the defendant fired the gun three times. The defendant was found guilty of second-degree murder but appealed on the grounds that he did not act with malice. The court determined that malice was not necessary for a second-degree murder conviction towards the victim. Instead, a wicked disposition and gross recklessness were sufficient to establish malice. Unintentional killings resulting from inappropriate behavior can be considered murder if the defendant could have anticipated the risk of their actions leading to the victim's death. In a separate case, Edna Overbeck attempted to set aside a property conveyance made by her husband, who owned the property with his brother. The court dismissed the case, ruling that there was no fraud involved in the transfer and a valid consideration existed. Overall, the court's decisions in these cases demonstrate the importance of recognizing the potential consequences of one's actions, as well as maintaining property rights and valid considerations. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsd.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.